Is this WWE action figure playset worth it? What is going on guys, Brett Alive back with another video and today we have a WWE action figure playset review in this Amazon package right here is a very discounted cheap WWE action figure playset slash accessory and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this package and then the packaging of course that the accessory is in. I picked this up from Amazon, this is not sponsored whatsoever by Amazon or Mattel. This thing is very cheap on Amazon right now and I highly recommend that y'all shoot over there even if you didn't want it. Like me when I saw it in Target I was like eh, I don't really want that but when I saw it for this price I was like okay yeah I'm gonna buy it. So here we go guys without further ado we are gonna crack into the top and with this Amazon tape you don't need a knife all you need is your hands because any man with two hands has a fighting chance. Do you have the WWE Wreckage Slam and Stack Forklift with the Brock Lesnar exclusive basic action figure. That's how it comes. You get it in the Amazon box and then it comes in this bag, which is very, very interesting. I like that. It's very protected in this plastic bag. And we are going to get it out of there right now, see what this thing is all about. I've seen this in person before, obviously, because I do work at Target. So we do have a plethora of these right now because nobody really wants them. So there is the forklift in person. I have like almost all the wrecking vehicles. I have the semi truck. I have the ambulance, the motorcycles. Uh, I have the two original cars and here we go. Here's the forklift. So up here it says it has a launching action. So I guess with the forks of the uh, forklift, you could launch the Brock Lesnar figure. I'm not sure how it works yet. I've never really seen one of these out of box. So I don't really know how this thing works, but it looks like a lot of fun. It obviously includes Brock Lesnar. You can see him there driving the forklift. And then on the back, you can see a bunch of action with Mattel figures. You can see a Roman Reigns figure right there, Big E. AJ Styles is getting slammed with this really tiny palette that it comes with and of course that palette is the size to fit these forks of the lift but I have the original Mattel palette from the Curtis Axel and Triple H battle pack that came out a while back like 2013 14 type deal I have this I'm interested to see how it's gonna work with this so definitely stay tuned for that let's get to unboxing this thing let's get to tearing this thing out of the box there's the palette right there which is really not accurate i'm not gonna lie like there's no wood forks going below it does break in half though i do like that feature and yeah there's a lot of little zip ties going on through this thing so we need the knife and i'm gonna cut the camera we are gonna get this thing out of the box and we're gonna see if it's worth it before we jump into the forklift i want to take a look at the brock lesnar action figure here he is and honestly the entire playset is worth just the brock lesnar if you're buying it from amazon which, if you're buying from Amazon, it means it's $11. A basic is most of the time $11 unless it's discounted. So you're getting a full playset for the price of a basic figure. And if you need a Brock Lesnar, how convenient. He is coming with the Ultimate Edition head scan. You can see a nice little fade hair going all the way around with the ponytail and the beard, smug looking face hand. Face scan, he's got all the tattoo detail, the gloves, the Brock Lesnar pants. You got the logos on the front, one on the back. Tattoos, like I said, he's got the whole deal going on. He's got the boots. It is a basic, so you're not going to get as much articulation as an Ultimate Edition or an Elite. Like I said, if you need a Brock Lesnar, it's a prime figure to pick up. In. And here is the forklift. Is it worth it? In my opinion, this thing is trash. That is just my personal opinion. Is it fun? Yes. Is it gonna look good in my backstage area? Yes. But are the features mid? Yes. The features to this thing are so lame, at least in my opinion. We're gonna jump into it. First of all, here is the palette that you get. This palette I think is way too small and I don't think it's realistic at all. Like if you showed me this thing and told me what like, say that you didn't even get the playset, you just got this and you're like, okay, what is this supposed to be? I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't guess a palette. Yes, it does snap in half, which I think is really cool. It's got little studs on it so you could stand action figures on the top of it, which is also pretty cool. But I would have preferred more of a realistic palette like this one that came with the Curtis Axel and Triple H Battle Pack. This one's so freaking realistic and if they made a forklift actually to scale with this, it would have been so much better. But yeah, not the biggest fan of the palette. Obviously, yes, the wheels do spin. All four of them do. You get a couple sticker details on the side like some caution tape, which is pretty cool. The features are that the sides break off. 
You could break off the sides, which is a W. It's the Reckon line. Obviously, you should be able to break off the trim just like I'm doing right now and beat action figures with it. Obviously, that's really cool. The steering wheel does turn, which I think is a really nice feature. You'll get more sticker detail on the back as well with these red uh, reverse lights, which are pretty cool. You get the WWE logo. Looks like some air vents to maybe cool the engine or something. And if you're wondering if figures do fit in there well, they do. Brock Lesnar, he's a decent sized figure. He's a big dude, right? Even though this is a basic, it's still in the scale with the elites. He's going to slide right in there just like that. You can get his hand on the steering wheel and Brock Lesnar is in the forklift. I bet you could even fit a Big Show figure in there. No joke. I got to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of the curve here. See how it's like curved back. I wish this was straight up. I feel like most forklifts you see in real life are straight up like this. I know some in real life are curved, but I would have preferred mine just straight instead of the curve. The forks are too small. The forks are way too small. Look at that. They're big enough to hold the pallet that it came with. They're perfect size to hold the pallet that they came with. You could slide it up and down, but when it comes to the pallet that came with the OG battle pack, you'll put it on there. It just looks goofy because the forks, they only go halfway through the pallet, which is so weird. This is still how I'm going to have it displayed in my backstage area with the real size pallet, um, but I don't know. It just looks a little goofy curve. And the main feature is obviously, yes, that the forklift does move up and down. It's a forklift, right? But the main feature that they that they promote on the box is that you're supposed to remove this piece off the top. There's some more stickers. You're seeing some lights. You don't have to apply any of the stickers. They all come pre-applied. You turn this thing around and then you slide this in the top piece like that. And now it looks like that. Yes, I know this is a toy, but still, what is going on here? That is the feature? So you turn that thing around, and no, there's no more putting it down. Once that's on there, that's on there. Like, okay. And then you're supposed to get the Brock Lesnar figure and put it on the boot. There's a little stud on the forks. And then you're supposed to do this. That's the feature, guys. That's the main feature. You hit this top thing with your fist, and it launches the figures. Okay, maybe if I was five years old, I want more of a realistic vehicle. The Wrecking Line is fun, no doubt about it. My favorite uh, vehicle so far is the ambulance because that was the most realistic. I want realistic vehicles. You know what I'm saying though, right? You know what I'm saying, man? Overall though, this thing is not horrible. It has its flaws. I am not the biggest fan of it personally, but I couldn't pass it up for $11, especially when you get a Brock Lesnar figure with it. And this palette that is too small. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review video. Once again, if you guys are interested in picking this thing up, it is available at Amazon. It's worth it for the Brock Lesnar. The forklift is just okay, in my opinion. It's a good little showpiece for backstage. Like if you just want it sitting there, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed the review video. Let me know what other play sets and accessories you guys want to see reviewed on this channel. This one was recommended by a couple of my fans in my last raw uh, stage review that I got from uh, eBay. This one was picked up from Amazon. You guys can let me know what else you guys want to see down in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time. Bird Alive is out.